Hello everybody, this is Jane Flame. How are you doing this winter? The weather is enormously cold, isn't it? Unfortunately, this strong cold is forecast to become worse and last a long time this winter. To your surprise, behind this extreme cold, there is a will of the Creator and heaven. Today's topic may be very fearful, but I let you know this cold weather for this winter is a program planned and implemented by the Creator who has come down to the earth. This program must be carried out inevitably for the purpose of making earth an 18th dimensional planet as the Jami One or the paradise of the material universe. So, I hope you will cope with this ongoing situation well. Captain Nureka's message for today is the reason for the outbreaks of abnormal cold waves or the strong cold in the northern hemisphere. The climate change system of Earth has been converted from the 17th dimensional to the 18th dimensional system by the source consciousness of the Creator who has come down to the Earth. On August 25th in 2020, the climate change system of the heaven that controls atmospheric changes of Earth was switched from the 17th dimensional to the 18th dimensional system. On September 11th in 2020, the climate system of the heaven that manages the climate of Earth by controlling the ocean currents and marine environments of Earth was converted from the 17th dimensional to the 18th dimensional system. On September 22nd in 2020, the heavenly system that manages and controls the activities of earthquakes and volcanoes on Earth has been changed from the 17th dimensional to the 18th dimensional system. The climate change system of Earth, which has been operated by the 17th dimensional energy, has managed the climate of Earth largely by relying on the Earth bipolarity that is attributed to the North and South Poles. After the planet Earth is established as a full-fledged 18th dimensional planet called the Jami One or the paradise of the material universe, climate changes on Earth will be managed and controlled based on the monopolar nature of Earth that will be provided by the South Pole alone. The energy that affects the climate of a planet is stored in the planet's water. The key factor causing climate changes on Earth is the circulation of water. Water causes climate changes while circulating between two states, gaseous water vapor and liquid water. Glaciers on a planet are huge energy reservoirs. The planet's enormous amount of energy stored in the form of glaciers is converted into water and used to cause large-scale climate changes on the planet. When the planet Earth was created as a 17th dimensional planet, the energy that can be used on Earth was designed to bring about the climate change of Earth within the normal range through the circulation of water. On the other hand, relatively high level 17th dimensional energy that has the potential to cause climate changes beyond the normal range was said to be stored in the form of glaciers in the Arctic and Antarctic. Some of the energy that can be used to cause climate changes on Earth 
was also designed to be stored in the form of glaciers in the Arctic and Antarctic and to be used to maintain the climate of Earth through the pathway of the water circulation on Earth. From about 70 years ago, a special heavenly program has progressed to convert the planet Earth from the 17th dimensional to the 18th dimensional planet. This program, which is still underway, is aimed to melt all the ice in the Arctic area. The heaven will melt all the ice in the Arctic region and the melting speed of the Arctic glaciers will become accelerated over time. With the melting of glaciers, the energy that had been dormant in the form of glaciers in the Arctic region has been released in a large amount. The Arctic glaciers are storing a tremendous amount of energy. As Arctic glaciers have melted, the energy that had been asleep in the form of Arctic glaciers has been released into the atmosphere and the oceans on Earth in various forms of energy. In addition, the concentration of carbon dioxide has increased due to the melting of the Arctic glaciers. This heavenly project to melt the Arctic glaciers is being conducted as part of the heavenly program for the transformation of Earth into the 18th dimensional planet. This project has caused an excessive amount of the 17th dimensional energy to be released, which is now being retrieved by the heaven. The 17th dimensional energy released from the melting Arctic glaciers will be slowly retrieved from the planet Earth and will be replaced by the 18th dimensional energy. As this 18th dimensional energy is supplied and settled on Earth, the area occupied by glaciers in Antarctica will gradually expand. The 17th dimensional energy generated by the melting of Arctic glaciers is being retrieved through the 18th dimensional climate change system. Under this circumstance, the cold energy emancipated from the melting Arctic glaciers has begun to break the energy balance of Earth little by little, causing the global climate to show abnormal patterns. The cold energy generated by the melting of the Arctic glaciers is being revealed as the outbreaks of strong cold waves in the northern hemisphere this winter. These extreme cold waves are occurring as one of the ways in which the 17th dimensional energy is retrieved through the 18th dimensional climate change system of the heaven. The heaven will continue to retrieve the energy generated from the melting Arctic glaciers through the 18th dimensional climate change system. The heaven will conduct this retrieval process by using the released energy in causing the strong cold, droughts, deluges, and more following seasonal changes. More specifically, this released energy has begun to be retrieved by being used in full swing from the summer of 2020. In this winter of 2021, the process of retrieving this energy is being manifested as the extremely cold weather or abnormal cold waves in the northern hemisphere. In the upcoming spring of 2021, severe droughts will occur throughout the northern hemisphere. Besides, in the summer of 2021, the retrieval process will be revealed as tremendous floods and unprecedented super typhoons and super hurricanes 
all of the Northern Hemisphere. Recently, various types of 18th dimensional energy are being supplied to the planet Earth. Since the 18th dimensional energy flowing into the planet Earth is interacting with the existing 17th dimensional energy, the recent climate change is occurring in a more extreme pattern. The 18th dimensional energy has higher purity and vibrational frequency than the 17th dimensional energy has. The new climate change system of Earth, which will be powered by the 18th dimensional energy, will be at least three times as powerful as the previous 17th dimensional system. Now, the planet Earth has different climate patterns than it used to have. Until the 18th dimensional climate change system is stabilized and settled, the planet Earth will need to undergo dynamic climate changes. As the 18th dimensional climate change system is stabilized on Earth, the seasons of Earth will converge into two seasons, spring and autumn. As the retrieval of the 17th dimensional energy from Earth progresses, the Earth typical four distinct seasons will turn into two seasons of spring and autumn. In order to disclose what the Creator who has come down to the Earth is doing now, what is happening to Earth now, and why such events are occurring now, I, Captain Urika, leave this message as a record. January 1st, in 2021, Udeka wrote, his message was translated by Twin Flame. Thank you so much for listening.